I'm James Beer. I'm one of the designers for Cardon Art Center, and we're going to take a little tour and talk about what you can expect when you come here and some of the details of the theater. We are coming in the front door here, so this orientation is, is designed to address the existing Cardon waterfront and let you walk through and experience the transition into the building. And this foyer is, is kind of where the experience starts in the theater. So if you were coming to a show here, you'd arrive up the escalator and through here we have we have a bar and a space to just kind of congregate and chill out before you go into the show. This is a 400 seat theater. So the theater is designed for drama, for music, for opera and for classical music and conferencing. Really a very broad range of uses that require a quite adaptable acoustic environment and a very technically sophisticated environment. As we move through the theatre, you can see that uh, we have a wide range of surface types. Now, this is partly a decorational surface, you know, it's supposed to look nice, but it's also functioning as part of the acoustic instrument that is the inside of the theatre. So, we have randomly spaced battens here, which help to spread sound across a wide range of frequencies. You can see as we look around the fronts of the balconies, all of these panels have slightly different shapes. That gives an uh, even dispersion of sound that's coming off the stage and hitting the sides of the balconies and then being directed back down to the people. All of these things are just to give a little bit more acoustic support so that when we're doing things in here which aren't amplified, like uh, maybe we have a singer or we have spoken word drama, that that's getting as much of that energy to the people uh, as we can manage. We have a big stage here, it's 10 meters deep by about 18 meters wide, which is big enough to fit uh, really the, the largest of productions. Up on level three, we have a rehearsal room here. So this is a space that's designed for uh, rehearsals for shows, or we actually have uh, a group of school children in here at the moment using the space. And it's just another kind of less technical space. This is one of the electrics galleries. It's where we plug in all the lights. Uh, we're about halfway up the flight tower at the moment. So you can see some of the rigging equipment that's holding up the drapery and scenery over the stage here. And then all this cabling is, is powering the lights for the show today. So now we're up here at, on the grid. So this is the very top of the fly tower. So this is the roof above us. Stage is, is all the way down there, about 18 meters down. This space is partly about the rigging for all the machinery that works here. So you can see the pulleys that are holding up all of the lighting bars. Um, and it's also about access. So if I want to come up here and I have a piece of scenery that I just need to drop from over the stage, I can stand here and do that very safely. And we're on one of the lighting bridges. So these stretch across the auditorium to give us uh, safe access to all the lighting fixtures that are pointing at the stage. Quite often we might need to be up here uh, on the bridges during a show. We have a system of blue lights here which have very low spill. So it gives you enough illumination to work safely, but you can't see it from below. We're in the control room here, which is where uh, we control lighting and projection most of the time. Um, so here's our lighting console, so we're getting really good view of the stage, plenty of space for the technical staff to work up here. Part of the story of this theatre is about giving artists here a tool to create uh, as much as their imagination will allow, right? So there's a huge flexibility in how we can adapt the space uh, to meet the needs of the show.